What's up everybody, hope you're having a good day. Today, we're going to be showcasing two of my favorite guns that I've been using recently. Namely, the Cordite Zero G and the RPG Orbit that was recently released. Hang on Teddy, thank you. Okay, so we're going to be changing up the Cordite for a bit. I think it's been out for a while. A lot of people have been using the free version as well. Uh, so far, it's been fun, right? I think uh, the, there's, there's a lot of punch in the gun and uh, a lot of people have been using it. The one that I'm in particular interested in today is the RPD Audit. Look at that skin, it is awesome and looking fine guys. The iron sights, look at that. I don't know if you can see it but we'll see it in further detail later. Anyway, RPD, uh, LMG in the LMG series, I usually fit it with a foregrip fast reload and a quick draw for sticky situations all right without further ado look at that even my skin's checking the gun out <laughs> all right without further ado let's look into some gameplay first up we'll start with the cordite just some 1v1 what do you guys think about 1v1 i think it's awesome right i think you get to test some of your gun fighting skills in it so i think it's pretty awesome ouch a lot of people have been using the KN44, it's available for free, super cheap. I think it's 3,000 credits or something like that in a very cool Ashburn Viper uh, skin. Why is that guy using it in scope? So odd. Anyway, uh, a lot of people are using the KN44. I think it's awesome that Cod M has released this version for everyone to be using. Not just the, the one that was grinded, so people who didn't grind for it, now it's free for you guys. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Oh, I'm playing super bad today. <laughs> oh my god. Why did I turn my back? Anyway, we're almost done. There we have it. Super awesome gun. What do you guys think about the gun? I think it's awesome. Oh, 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 oh. Playing on trash today. Super laser in this gun. By the way, I've I've changed up my loadout, so I've I fitted it with a uh, four grip, so that the recoil isn't uh, isn't that affecting as much as as uh, as usual. Yeah, and look at it. It's it's just lasering the opponent, man. I'm going to change up the loadout for Kodai in the future as well. I'm going to put it. Um, I'm going to remove a uh, extended mag and I'm going to put in a long barrel instead. I'm going to see how that fits. I think that would that would work. So it's going to be a quick draw, four grip, and long barrel. Ouch. I think the the quarter is is perfect for such situations, close quarter combats. It's perfect. It's really perfect. I see a lot of people are using it nowadays. Oh my god, my aim is terrible today. Oh, I'm so trash, people. I'm so trash. <laughs> well, let me go finish this up. I love the visuals of this gun, man. I, I'm so I'm so happy that COD M you know released this version of the gun. I love, I've said this many times before, I love all Cosme, Cosmo space kind of theme guns, man. It's, it's super awesome. I love it. I hope they do more of it. I don't know about you guys, but, but to me, yeah, I, I love it. <laughs> all right, moving on. We'll move on to the RPG Orbit. Now, this is a gun that I don't really see a lot of people using it. Although I do see some people in rank using it, in fact, it reminds me of Rambo. <laughs> Those who are in my age group, uh, you, would, you would know who Rambo is. 
for those who do not, uh, yeah, you know. Look at that, it's so cool. The iron sights, it's like animated kind of uh, iron sights. It's, it's awesome, man. The skin, the white, red, and a little bit black, you know, it just, it just makes the gun so, so perfect. It's just beautiful. Super nice. The thing about LMGs is, oh, by the way, not wall hack. <laughs> That is a 25mm ply, I think so. Plywood, so any 76-2mm round or 562 would have gone through. That is not a war hack. Yeah, anyway, uh, LMGs, yeah, you got to make sure you, you put on Agile, I think. Uh, you, you know, the, the the draw rate is super, super, super low. So you, oh my god, I'm missing that so much. Okay, uh, let me finish this up. Yep, like I was saying, you gotta make sure you put something on that, you know, you can, you gotta be pretty quick with your aim. Your, your game sense has to be there. You need to predict where the enemy is coming from, where he's gonna move, how he's gonna move. Predict his actions. That way, the LMG is, is pretty much unstoppable. At long ranges, it might be a problem. Uh, it, it tends to jump a lot, the recoil, so it's better to use uh, foregrip on any LMGs. Uh, that being said, I can see a lot of uh, <laughs> former S36 campers been using this gun. But uh, I, I'm not really a camper kind of person, so I prefer to run and jump around with it. As you can see. This is another public match. Uh, been so using this gun quite a bit, in fact. Super punchy sound, if you can hear it. I love it. Those who have this skin, man, I think you will love this gun. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, any LMGs, they're slow moving. Even with the lightweight at, uh, perk, you know, you'll be moving super slow. So to use this kind of guns and moving around and jumping around, you need to really be having good game sense. You need to know where the enemy is moving, where they, where they are on the map. If all your opponents are on this side, that's a, that's a pretty good indication that your enemies are on the other side also. So that's how you figure out where, where the guys are moving and they, you, can, you can predict their movement from there. Oh my god, hit marker. <laughs> so the uh, RPG, definitely a good option. I, I, I've started seeing a lot more people using it, it's it's super good, it's punchy, there's a huge ammo capacity and uh, just, uh, you know, I, I would recommend putting in a uh, fast reload because the reload speeds are terrible so definitely a fast reload quick draw and for grip, that, that's for me anyway Look at the iron sights, it's, it's so nice. It's so futuristic, man. Super futuristic. So yeah, predict where your guys, where the opponent is moving. Use your own teammates as an indication to where your, where your enemies are. And use it to your advantage. Because where your, any, where your teammates are, uh, if they are not doing anything, in fact, that's a good indication that the enemies is there. On the other side, I mean, anyway. I'm not going to use my Goliath uh, for obvious reasons of, of showcasing this gun. I want to, I want to you, know, you know, bring up this gun a little bit more. I think it's a super, super good gun to use. A lot more people should be using it. Anyway guys, uh, we're coming to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. And as usual, I hope you if you like your if you like my content, do subscribe and support the channel. It is greatly and much appreciated. Thank you and I hope you have a good day. Checking out.